The company reported a 23% decline in revenue year-on-year -year and 8% quarter-on-quarter to $11.86 billion, while Goldman Sachs' investment division performed worse as turnover fell by 41% year-on-year to $2.14 billion. In this way, the significant provision for credit losses of $667 million was made compared to the corresponding forecast for a profit of $92 million in the same period last year. Operating expenses were cut by 11% to $7.65 billion with an efficiency ratio of 62%, which led to earnings per share being trimmed by 48% to $7.73 against the 2022 forecast for $18.47, noting that last year only the second quarter alone returned $15. Offsetting this, the company pointed to the dividend increase of $2.5, acknowledging management's efforts to transform the institution into a dividend-paying option friendlier to long-term portfolios. On the dashboard, investors halted ostentatiously at the $311 resistance, leaving the possibility of the stock riding new 18-month lows in the $260 area open, with a first stop at the off-tested $2,077 and exiting sort positions above $330 at the close of the day, with sorts exiting above $317.